Waste is a serious problem in the society. Every day, world household and industrial waste is produced from daily activities, and high amount of waste can cause waste to overflow. Overflowing landfills can cause various diseases, global warming, and also discomfort to the society. In 2020, Indonesia produced 3.68 tons more garbage than 2019 along with population growth. Likewise, in Semarang, in 2020, it produced 9.137 tons more garbage than in 2019 along with population growth. Waste management system nowadays are not efficient, which is waste periodically collected by the officer. What is often encountered is that waste at TPS is often not collected if the waste is not full. This is not efficient and consume more operational costs. Based on the background proof, researchers conducted studies and research related to more efficient TPS waste management by designing a waste heat detection system. I'm Fadi Raisa Kayana and I'm Masha Tashkira Maminevi. We're proud to present Machimba, Management System Integrated Waste Level Checker. Purposes of this research are first, design and build a system prototype to detect the capacity of the waste tank at TPS more accurately. Second, know how to work and the effectiveness of the system in detecting the capacity of the waste tanks. The research method used in this study is the R&D method or what is often referred to as research and development. The development in this research is in the use of ultrasonic sensors and camera sensors to increase the level of accuracy of the sensor and can send altitude data and conditions so that it can be monitored by officers. The research analysis was carried out quantitatively. Quantitatively collections is carried out based on readings from sensors installed on the device. Sensor reading data is carried out in two conditions, namely, First, data with ultrasonic sensors, and second, ultrasonic sensor data with camera. Measurement results obtained from analyzing the measurement results from the data of the two sensors, which will then be compared with the manual measurement. Measurements using sample in the form of cardboard, styrofoam, which has a size of 1 meter times 0.5 meters, and plastic bottles. Each sample represents the waste in the TPS. Cardboard represents soft waste and organic waste. Styrofoam represents anorganic waste, and plastic powder represents solid waste. While the slanted styrofoam measurement represents waste that has large dimension. Method of data analysis. First, analysis of ultrasonic measurement results obtained from mass internal system data. Second. Linear regression analysis to calculate the correlation between ultrasonic sensors and camera sensors. Third, system usability scale or SUS. The ultrasonic sensor will read the height of the waste tank. Then, the camera sensor will read the actual condition of the tanks. Then, the data from the two sensors will be sent to the internet by the ESP32 cam. Then, the data will be proceed to the NTRS cloud server. The results of the proceed data are displayed on the website, which can be accessed via various devices such as PCs and mobile phones, so that officers can be more effective in assessing TPS condition. This is the display from the Messenger website. Based on the data above, the largest average error from sensor measurements compared to manual measurements is the measurements using slanted styrofoam, and the smallest error is found in measurements using plastic bottles. It can be concluded that ultrasonic sensors work well on hard objects and small dimensions. Therefore, a camera sensor is added that can validate the actual TPS heat and condition. The linear equation of the correlation between sensor and manual measurement result is expressed in a linear equation. Y equals to 1.041157x plus 0.72288 where Y is sensor measurement and X is manual measurement. From the result of the regression analysis, it was concluded that there is a linear correlation between sensor measurement and actual condition. 
the system usability scale data above gets an average score of 79.83. Based on the standard SUS score, the score is included in the good category with a grade scale of C. This means that based on this data, Masinter is acceptable and feasible to use. However, Masinter also needs further development. Based on test and analysis data, Masinter, which uses ultrasonic sensors and camera, is able to detect the height of waves at TPS more accurately. So, officers come and take waste to the DPS only when the tanks are full, so that the work of officers is more efficient. Based on SUS data analysis, this messenger gets a value of 79.83, meaning that this messenger has proven to attract user interest and is suitable for use, but there is still a need for development on system features. The future work of Masinter are first, a geographic information system can be added so that all TPS in one area can be monitored in an integrated manner. Second, image data from the camera can be developed using artificial intelligence technology to generate measurements automatically from the camera sensor. Third, develop a system so that it can be provide notifications to officers when TPS is full. That's our presentation. Thank you for your attention. We hope that this research can help produce pollution and also help the government reduce operational costs in TPS management and data obtained from daily data from each TPS can be used by the government to predict waste growth from time to time to help advance the Smart City program. See you next research. Bye-bye.